Good morning, Frasia. We are so happy to have you this morning all the way from Bolivia with your presentation. And we want to thank you for donating your time and talents to IPAT. Welcome. Uh, thank you, Susan. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, this is a uh, technique very easy. Uh, I like uh, this technique because you can, uh, you can do this very fast, you know? And um, of course, I'm very happy to be here. Um, queridas amigas, es un gusto estar aquí con ustedes. Esta es una técnica muy, muy fácil. Y, y bueno, gracias uh, a Susana que, que, es, que está en esto de, de, de que no dejemos de pintar. Entonces, estamos haciendo este esfuerzo con estas demostraciones. ¿sí? Ok. I want to talk something about the original cloisonné. This is a vase. You see? This is a vase of, this is an original cloisonné. Yeah? This is original cloisonné. I bought this in China. I bought this in China 10 years ago. And I go to the factory, you know? Uh, the cloisonné, the, the the China the Chinese people paint in um, metal pieces. This is not porcelain. This is metal pieces. No? El cloisonné es una técnica que es pintada. Eh, esto viene. Esto, este es el original cloisonné, ya. Y eh, lo lo hacen en la China. Pero el florero no es, no es una pieza de porcelana, es una pieza de metal. Okay? Yeah, this is bronze, bronze, no? And they, they paint some, something like that. Okay? You look, they have a go, uh, gold, pen work with gold. You know? And it's, a, it's very expensive in, in China. Okay? The, of course, there are a lot of imitation in our countries, but is this one original? <laughs> I love this. Uh, okay. Uh, false cloisonné is, uh, of course, false. We can paint in, in uh, porcelain. And the first, the first step, we have to choose range of uh, colors. Uh, el primer paso, para hacer un falso cloisonné es una pieza de porcelana donde vamos a hacer eh, podemos utilizar una una como como diríamos un eh, ranches eh, eh, colores no desde los más oscuros digamos una gama de colores se puede utilizar una gama de colores entonces eh, para combinar para que nos salga bien si queremos hacer una pieza de navidad Seguramente vamos a poner rojos, verdes, y etcétera, ¿no? Vamos a, en, la, en nuestra pieza. If uh, we need a range of colors, you can use uh, blues or greens or, uh, or um, reds. If you want to paint um, something for uh, Christmas, you can put uh, red and yellow and green, ¿ya? Yeah? And then uh, uh, it's okay for for um, and and paint with the gold with uh, something uh, things for Christmas. Okay, uh, I use two things. I paint with uh, look this look this. Okay, what, what camera? Okay, uh, I paint this with. Close oil, okay? I, I, I mix the color with the copaiba or you can use MX54 and I mix with lavender, okay? And I put the color with a sponge, a sponge. You, you have to do that very fast because it dries very fast. If you, si ustedes quieren hacer el, el, la pieza con, con aceite cerrado, pueden hacerlo. 
pero tienen que mezclar sus colores con un poco de lavanda, ¿no? Entonces agarran una esponja y hacen la mezcla de colores, como en este caso, ¿ok? ¿Está bien? ¿Está bien? ¿Did you see this? Yes? Yeah. Then uh, you have to fire this. You have to fire. But I, uh, this is the other thing, no? This is the other thing with a with, uh, close oil con aceite cerrado. Y con el misma técnica, utilizar, utilizar una, una esponja y mezclar con la banda. You have to use a sponge in an oven there and do the, 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 but in this time, I think it's better, it's easy for us to use uh, open oil. Yeah? I have big, why open oil? Because, you know, you can uh, you can put the you can I use uh, Paula Collins open oil because he she gave me like a gift the open oil from Paula Collins and I mix with uh, some colors okay and my my brushes like the, you see this okay this. And I use uh, the open oil. Okay. I put a color. Okay. I put the color and I sweep. Very, very, with, with, with patience, of course. Ah, <laughs> um, um. okay, good, 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 good. It's something, something like, like an like echo. We can do this. Yes, yes, yes. Of, course, of course, the people who work with the um, uh, open oil, it's very easy to do this. For me, it's not very easy because always use uh, close oil. You can go into it. Yes. yes. The colors you want. You want. I always I use, use a flat uh, brush for painting with painting the open oil. Open oil. This is the Evans, Evans brushes. Brush. I like also I like Felipe, Felipe and uh, of course Google Meyer. Meyer. But, but, but when I work when I with work the close oil, oil, I use uh, Google Meyer brushes. You can you put, 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 put the colors you want. Do you hear? Yes, Susan. Sí, se oye bien. Se oye bien. Okay. Well, 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 well
this very carefully. And of course, I can uh, paint at this time all, all the colors, but you can put all the ranch, es decir, eh, las tonalidades que ustedes quieren, depende del tema que van a usar. Entonces, si van a hacer hojas, también pueden poner un poco de, de amarillo. If you want to paint leaves, of course, you can put uh, some, some uh, yellow or some, uh, you know, as this is um, like, um, I, don't, I don't remember, this color is, um, uh, some sepia, orange, okay? Have to do this. You can put yellow, you can put uh, okay. okay. In this way, mixing the colors you want. I love maple leaves. It's because I, I would do that. It's because I'm working with these colors, okay? Well, you can put more green, um, dark green, or, or chartreuse. You can put all those colors and you can sweep. Okay, the thing is that you can, this is the piece, I, I work in this piece yesterday, you know, and um, I put some uh, some other colors, some uh, uh, orange, some yellow, no? This is fire. I fire this uh, piece at, um, in Fahrenheit, in con all 16. My, my kiln is uh, digital, okay? And then it's uh, in con all 16. And uh, degree Celsius is 776 degrees Celsius, okay? And Fahrenheit is 1,000. Um, 428.8 Fahrenheit con O16, ¿ok? Eh, en grados centígrados he quemado esta pieza a um, 776 grados, que más o menos es un cono 16, ¿ya? Yeah? Then, then I want to, to do the principal thing in this cloisonné, ¿ok? The thing is, uh, there is false cloisonné. It's false, but you have to 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 work with the real gold. Okay. Okay. This is my piece. It's fire. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. This is a piece is fire and uh, you know, if you want to put more color, it's okay. But I put a, a very light, very light uh, layer because, because uh, I have to do some, uh, the pen work with gold, okay? But if you want to put more color, more darker, you can do that, okay? Si quieren poner más oscuro el color, si quieren poner más color, pueden hacer. You know? This is not perfect. <laughs> That's not, but we have to, to work with the gold here. Okay. Uh, I have this Duncan. I don't know. Um, I use sometimes this. You know, here in Bolivia, uh, everybody comes and says, uh, please, um, uh, uh, I have gold. I have to bow uh, to. I I'm uh, selling 
gold. This is Duncan. I use this. It, it's okay. Okay. I have the things you have. This is a piece of crystal, and this is from Crystal from Mexico. A gift from Mexico. <laughs> and I put I put the bow here. The best for me, because I learned with Peter Faust, lo mejor para mí en este, para usar el, el, el oro, digamos, eh, la forma de usar para el, para el trabajo con plumilla, es eh, también como aprendí con Peter Faust, es la lavanda. You know, uh, the, the, the gold dries very fast. Then I, I will put a drop of, um, of lavender. Then the, the gold will run with the pen work. I always use this, um, this thing. It's okay to use something from from uh, from glass from glass to mix the gold. Okay. Then I have my my pen. Okay, and I will work with this. In this case, I want to to draw. If you want to draw by hand, you can do this, no? But if you want to put uh, to to put with um, with um, other thing, you can put here. You can put the 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 paper, and you can draw the everything you want. In this case. I'm okay. Okay. I will draw a maple. A maple leaf. Okay, it, it, this is all only for a demo and I can do this, okay. Yeah. Okay, draw, if you want to, to draw, Okay, if you want to copy with the with the other paper, the black paper, you can do also, and then you can work. But I think it's better to to draw by hand. Okay. Es la mejor manera de utilizar el eh, de hacer esta técnica, pero eh, si a ustedes les gusta más grueso o tener un oro más grueso, por, por si acaso, eh, pueden hacer. ¿Ok? ¿Observan? Sí, eh, ustedes pueden hacer el diseño que deseen. Esta será una hoja un poco más de otoño. También pueden llenarle con, con, con. You can draw some things like this. 
Okay. Is I think in porcelain painting it's very important. It's very important the creativity. Pienso que en la pintura en porcelana es muy importante la creatividad. We can copy, but we can uh, the uh, we can put some other things, and it's your creation. Ustedes pueden copiar, sí, porque es, todas copiamos siempre de alguna cosa. Pero es muy importante tratar de crear. Esas son las piezas más apropiadas, las que creamos nosotros, ¿no? Okay. You can put, of course, you have to, to work very, very slow with this. Yeah, or, or you can do this. Okay. You can put leaves, you can put on a lot of things. If you want to Christmas, you can put uh, ribbons, you can put, of course, bells. And you can do everything with this. Hmm? You can practice. I, I I really want to 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 draw this with a very a liner, but uh, I'm practicing hmm? with a liner. Me gustaría hacer esto con un con un eh, con un pincel liner que sería lo ideal, pero está bien que que podamos hacerlo con 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 la plumilla, okay? And then I put here, you can do this also with a pipe, okay? I made this with a um, pipe, you know, with a pipe and I put all the things. And Frazier, I don't know what you mean by a pipe. Pipe. P I P A. Pipe. Uh okay. I will try. I will I will show you the pipe. Okay, this is a pipe. Do you know this? And this is a pipe. Yes, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that's, that this is, a, everybody says that, that in English, a pipe. <laughs> okay, and of course, the great masters, I think, <laughs> like Peter Faust, they they um, work. And of course, Pablo, <laughs> uh, they work with a brush, a liner, a very, very uh, a liner. They, but for, for me, um, I have to practice a lot with brush and I use the, the pen. Okay, and this is a pipe also with pipe, but it's, you know, thick, very thick. Oh, this is very thick, you know. Okay, there. More, uh, more gold because the pipe is uh, very thick and then uh, the gold. You can put, look, this is a dragonfly. And you you can uh, paint, of course, something very, very simple here. Because, you know, with this, it's, this is a, uh, this is a box of uh, four cards. Huh? And looks good in a, in a, in a box, yeah? 
one boxes. You can you can put this as a you can work in a vase also. And you have to create your piece. Aquí he utilizado una pipa, es la que he mostrado. ¿Han visto la pipa? Y mi, tengo pipa de dos, de dos clases, una delgada que está en este plato. He trabajado en este plato, en esta pieza más delgada. Y la otra pipa es más gruesa, ¿sí? Para que se vea como, como suele. I think that's all in this technique. And, um, well, I am open to, to your, for, for all your questions. Pueden preguntar. It looks like Pablo asks, do you paint with bright gold? Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm okay. Pablo asks, do you paint with bright gold? Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, Pablo. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Pablo asks, "Do you paint with bright gold?" Bright gold, yes, yes, bright gold. I, I, uh, in this, in this technique, I never use um, um, made gold. I paint with the bright gold because you know if they're the colors if that these colors are very strong you can see uh, if you do this with a made made gold you can see the and here we need a bright gold i i learned this with bright gold but maybe we can uh, do some uh, using the other gold, no? We can, we can do experiment with this uh, made gold. Okay, ¿hay alguna duda? Eh, te preguntaba, eh, pregunté si, si no usabas el solvente de oro. Mm, no. Maybe you, um, tal vez podemos usar el solvente de oro, pero lo que aconseja Peter, y bueno, yo, yo siempre eh, lo sigo a él, es hacerlo con lavanda. Lavanda. Okay. Sí, corre más. Okay. Se puede, eh, you can use this with turpentine also, with uh, some turpentine, and, but it dries so fast, and uh, for for Peter, the lavender, and for me, I, I, I do this in, for me, it's okay. With pen, if you work with pen, you can do, you can do with the lavender oil. It's good also. That's the best for me, no? But if you can, you, maybe you don't have lavender and you have turpentine of the other liquids for a gold, you can use, you have to see. <laughs> Okay. Well, Croatia, we enjoyed President. this presentation very much, and thank you for your time. <clears throat> it will be posted on the uh, YouTube channel this afternoon and on the IPAT website, so um, everyone is going to be able to enjoy it all around the world, and thank you again so very much. Okay, thank, thank you, you for, for being here. It's the first time I, I do this, and I expect that you are... Um, happy with this <laughs> and uh, muchas gracias muchas gracias amigas sé que han entrado para apoyarme